Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. In this video, I am going to share with you Canary 1 billion flash model from NVIDIA. We have been covering NVIDIA's model for quite some time now and the good thing is that this new 1 billion flash model has got quite a permissive license if you are looking for an ASR model to be used commercially. This model, which is Canary Flash, is a powerful multilingual speech processing model that is capable of automatic speech recognition and real-time translation. With 883 million parameters, it efficiently handles speech-to-text tasks in multiple languages, including most of the European, as well as translation between English, Arabic, and few Chinese and few others. You can also have some support for optional punctuation and capitalization with this model. It leverages a fast conformer architecture for the encoder and transformer decoder. Canary 1 billion flash model also achieves state-of-the-art accuracy while providing exceptional inference speed. I haven't seen any diarization support at the moment, but they might be adding it soon. But if you are looking for diarization in NVIDIA's model or similar models, just go to my channel and search with NVIDIA and you should be able to find heaps of videos around it. Now I will be using NVIDIA's NEMO framework in order to get it installed. And if you want to learn more about NVIDIA NEMO, please search my channel. In a very quick words, NVIDIA's NEMO framework is a scalable and cloud native generative AI framework built for researchers and PyTorch developers working on LLMs, multimodal models or ASR model among other things. You can create, customize and deploy new models by leveraging existing code and pre-trained model checkpoints. That is what we are going to use shortly when we get this thing installed on our local system. Before we do the installation, let me thank Mast Compute who are sponsoring this VM which is Ubuntu and this GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GPU of VRAM. Let's start by creating a virtual environment. And if you're looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices, you can find the link to Mass Compute in video's description with a discount coupon of 50% for a range of GPUs. Next up, let's install some of the audio libraries. Some of them might be already on your system, but I'm just going to go to install to make sure. And then we need to install Torch, Torch Audio, and then also the Nemo Toolkit. This is going to take a couple of minutes. While that happens, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are Camel AI. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws of agents with applications in data generation, task automation, and world simulation. And then let me launch my Jupyter Notebook. And now let's download the model here. And we are going with this Canary 1 billion flash. And the model is being downloaded. It is just around 3.5 gig of size. And you can see that we are also putting it on our CUDA device. And the model is downloaded and it has also given you some of the log around a model. And from there, let me now grab an audio file from my local system. So that this is just a local file. And then I'm converting it to mono channel and uh, 16 kilohertz in the wave format, which is a compatible one. You can also use MP3 or FLAC format if you like. So let me uh, process the audio. The audio has been converted. Let's quickly play it. And I'm just going to run this. Let me play that. Then leaving the corpse within the house, they go themselves to and fro about the city and beat themselves with their garments bound up by a girdle. Okay, so the audio looks quite good. And now let's do the transcription with this Canary Flash model. And this is a simple script where we are giving it the source language of our audio, the target language, and we want to produce the transcript. And then we are just printing it out. So let me run this code. 
and you can see that it has produced a transcription that if i quickly read through it it says uh, then leaving the cops within the house they go themselves to and fro about the city and beat themselves with their garments yep totally correct and you see uh let me just run it again and see this comma so it has because we have done punctuation true so let me run it then leaving the corpse within the house they go themselves to and fro about the city and beat themselves with their garments bound up by a girdle you see it has done the punctuation very very nice just with the you know flow of the audio so very impressive really and if i quickly show you the vram consumption it is just around 3.8 gig of vram so if you have a good cpu with around i would say 16 to 32 gb gb ram you should be able to run this model easily all you need to do in order to run it on cpu is just go up and then just remove this line or maybe even just keep it it will automatically detect your cpu okay that is good then now and is it cool thing about this model is that you can also do the translation so for instance i'm just going to ask it to transcribe but instead of target language again as english i'm just giving it as spanish so let's run this and you see how quick this model is and this is a spanish so if i just pick it up and then put it in google translate i'll just say detect language there you go so it says with a belt which is fine it's a girdle and belt are same thing really good stuff now this is i believe not only does uh, spanish but few other languages so i'm just going to try it out with maybe i'll say uh i think it also supports german i believe and the german code is language code is de so i'll just run it there you go let's check it out there is one punctuation at the end but maybe that is a german language if you are a german speaker please confirm yep that is correct so you see the quality of transcription plus quality of uh translation is quite good let's try out french there you go let me quickly check the french too and if you're a french speaker please also confirm there you go so looks really good to me at the moment as far as i can see it only supports these four languages but just for the heck of it i'm just going to check it out with arabic the language code is ar i believe so yes it doesn't support arabic it gave me an error let me check maybe chinese which is zh nopes and let's check maybe hindi which is hi nopes so it only supports those four languages but still i could i believe pretty lightweight pretty performant a model very impressive and the best thing is that the license is quite per permissive which is cc uh, and i believe this allows you the commercial use uh, but check the license detail because there are a lot of ifs and buts in the licensing and i'm not a licensing expert um but thankfully it is not nc by cc which is good would be great if it, if it would be apache too but maybe we are asking for too much try it out let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you